So when I first heard about the Cyclone external combustion engine from one of you guys, I was extremely intrigued. I mean combustion is something that happens under extreme pressures and that pressure is what makes combustion so effective. So does this engine still function like a normal engine with air, fuel and spark or is this a whole new take on the internal combustion engine? Well, let's find out. Well firstly, yes, this is something completely different. This engine is also known as the Cyclone steam engine. And no, it's not like those old really slow steam powered vehicles. These engines promise amazing power at really low RPM. So how exactly does this thing work? The Cyclone engine uses a 6 piston radial layout to extract power from supercritical steam. I know that sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, but what is it? Supercritical steam is water heated to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, existing in a phase state that is not really a liquid or a gas, but can behave like both. This supercritical steam is contained within a tubular coil system and then released into the cylinders, compressing the pistons and rotating the crankshaft through a unique spider bearing. Which answers the previously asked question. No, this does not work like any other internal combustion engine. There is no airstroke, no spark and no fuel inside the internal combustion chamber. Anyways, once the steam has done its job and has successfully compressed the piston, it enters the cooling phase to return to its liquid state before heading back up to be superheated again. So in a really simplified way, that's how the engine works. Another cool thing to note is that the water also serves as a lubricant for the system, eliminating the need for oil or oil changes. What this also means in theory is that the water used to run the system would not need to be replaced as long as there is absolutely no steam or water loss. Now you might be wondering, why is it called an external combustion engine when it's just a steam engine? Well, unlike a traditional internal combustion engine, which ignites fuel under high pressure inside the cylinders, the cyclone burns its fuel in an external chamber under atmospheric pressure, which means that almost any fuel can be used without producing many of the harmful byproducts of high pressure internal combustion engines, such as the oxides of nitrogen. Because the fuel circulates in the combustion chamber until it's all consumed, this is genius because all fuels produce byproducts when we burn them. But because this engine circulates the fuel, the byproducts will also be burned and used by the engine, leaving practically nothing. Now, this burning of whatever fuel you are using produces heat. This heat is used to turn the water into steam, meaning that it's not the fuel that powers the engine, but the steam. Weird fact. According to the makers of the engine, apparently this thing can run on more than just fuel. The manufacturers say that they have used anything from orange peels to algae to fossil fuels, right through to butane, natural gas and even old school powered coal. So you can run your car on biomass in theory, which would be great. And for those of you that don't know what biomass fuel is, biomass is renewable organic material that comes from plants and animals. Biomass contains stored chemical energy from the sun. Plants produce biomass through photosynthesis. Biomass can be burned directly for heat, which is exactly what you need in this engine. And burning biomass does not waste any of our valuable rare resources, as biomass products are waste anyways. Orange peels are a great example of this. So all of this is great in theory, but have they made any actual working engines? And if they did, how does the power figures look? Well, on the 15th of July 2013, they took the Cyclone Mark V to the dyno and it made 100 horsepower at 3600 RPM, which isn't a whole lot for a 6 cylinder, but the torque figures are insane. It made 1355 Nm of torque at the same RPM. In fact, this engine's starting RPM is over a thousand Nm, which is just crazy, especially when you know that the engine only weighs around 150 kilograms. All of that said, as of now, no engines has been delivered to customers. The engines have not been used in any commercial cars. And in fact, the company has not made any updates since 2016, which is weird. If the engine really does all these great things, why did it not take off? An engine that runs on biomass fuel successfully is like the ultimate solution to our global problem. Did they lie about the engine's capabilities or is something else at play here? Let me know what you think down below. Also, let me know what you think of the engine. This is a 
very weird take on the internal combustion in engine or a completely different take i mean it's external combustion i think it's really cool and in theory it should work i'm just wondering why it never like came into fruition why aren't we seeing it in any commercial use i mean it's been like almost 10 years since the last update so they really should be saying some stuff and continuing developing the motor so we can actually see it used in something even if it's a small car or a go-kart or just something so we can see it working but let me know what you think down below if you like this video leave a like and subscribe if you like videos on weird and wonderful engines i've got a lot of videos on that and just car content in general that's like my thing so if you like cars this is the place for you i'll check you guys in the next one cheers eh?